Learn how to do the keystrokes on the first page of greyhound.com. I need to go into Internet Explorer because that works best with the Greyhound website. So I'm going to do Windows 2. Windows 2, Internet Explorer. Search engine, Google. Then I have Greyhound marked in my favorites. So I'll do Alt A to get to my favorites. And up arrow to Greyhound. And enter. And I hear those words, services and routes, that tell me that I'm in my Greyhound page. I'm going to do Control Home. And do G for graphic till I hear the words round trip. Okay, so I heard round trip and I need to, and um, I can either enter on it, but it has worked better to left click it. So I route my cursor. And my left mouse button, and I hear it, and I go back to PC cursor. And now I can control home and use my edit boxes with E. And I hear leaving from, but I need to enter for forms mode so that my um, place from which I'm leaving will enter in the right field. So, I will leave from Dayton Trotwood, Ohio, so... And I'm going to down arrow to make sure, but it's pro I've left from this place so often that it will probably work, or that that's what I'll hear when I press down arrow. And so now I tab to... It says passengers, but it's really going to... And so I'm going to say Cincinnati. And down arrow. And then. All right. It, um, I've done a tab which says departing on. And um, today is February 11th. I will just leave that date, but I could type. 2 slash 14 slash 2015 if I wanted to change that departing date. Open the calendar pop -up link. Now, I ignore open the calendar pop-up. It is inaccessible. And now for time, I can either type the word any or tab off of it and, and any would have reappeared. Open the time view pop-up. I must ignore. It's inaccessible. Returning on, um, I'll say two, two slash nine, two, two zero, zero for two twenty slash twenty fifteen. Um, I've tabbed to open the calendar pop up. I ignore that. And for time, um, I'll just tab off of any so bit there. Now open the time view pop up. I ignore. Okay. Now I'm going T for table, and I hear adult one two six one, which means that the age range to be an adult is ages twelve through sixty one years, inclusive. One. I've down arrowed, and I hear that if I leave the one here that we just heard there would be one adult traveling. I'm going to travel as a senior, so I need to change the one that I just heard to a zero. So I'm going to route my cursor. All right, I left arrow one time. And, and here space, and now I need to left click. Ooh. And I'm going to check this and see if it has changed the one for adult into into zero, but I need to return to my PC cursor first. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I inadvertently 
did a down arrow to child, and but I went back up and heard that it, adult now shows zero. So now I'm going to use down arrow. There are no children going with me. That's why we heard the zero. Now, um, seniors are aged 62 plus, zero. and there's a zero in that field now, so I want to change that to a one. So I'm going to route my cursor and right arrow twice. Space. All right. Space. All right. That. And and now I need to left click and use my PC cursor. Check my work. And I used up arrow to here sixty or senior sixty two plus and then back down and I did indeed hear the one. So I now have one senior traveling because I changed the zero to a one. Okay. Now, no discounts. I'm using my tab key to hear um, the data that I'll come to now. And there are no discounts. I could continue to tab to search schedules, which is shown as a graphic, um, but it will be faster for me to do a JAWS find command and type the word search and enter to get to search schedules because I don't have times yet for leaving and, and arriving. That's what I'm searching for. So I do a control F and type the word search and, um, and enter. I have entered on the graphic for search schedules, but I'm just sitting on the graphic and have not moved in any productive way. So I am going to route my cursor and left click because that works more perfectly than simply entering.